Hey Gold Getters, welcome to the channel. Today I am going to be talking to you about certain products with which you can never go wrong in Africa. You could be one of those wanting to invest in Africa or start up a business, but you don't know exactly what to sell in Africa. And I also understand that you could be having an idea of what to sell, but you aren't really sure if it is actually profitable in Africa. So if those are your worries, worry no more for in this video, I am going to be letting you know of 10 products, very lucrative products that you could sell in Africa and make millions for yourself in no time. And these businesses are businesses that you could start up as a retailer or wholesaler or better still, you could import them to maximize your profit. So it would depend actually on the amount of money you have and the scope of the business you want to establish. One advice I could give here is that if you are just starting off, you could start by retailing them, then proceed to the wholesale level. And once you've mastered the market, very well, you could then sort out suppliers and start importing. This is because when we talk of import, we are talking of huge money already. So it wouldn't be advisable for you to embark on importing a product you aren't really sure of the feasibility. That said, here are 10 profitable products that you could sell in Africa and be sure to make millions. If you didn't know, Africa has the youngest and fastest growing population in the globe. When we talk of Africa's population attaining 2.4 billion by 2030, where do you think the population is going to come from? Are they going to be falling from the sky? No, they are actually going to be given birth to by African women. So the first product that I'm going to be talking here about, if you've guessed, is diapers. Yes, baby diapers to be precise. Africans give birth to children a lot, okay? Africans multiply a lot. This is simply because Africans love children so, so much, okay? There are tribes in Africa wherein, according to their tradition, a man's wealth is actually measured by the number of children that man has, okay? And that's one of the reasons why back then in Africa, there was a lot of polygamy because African men believed in having a lot of children as a measuring rod for their success. And even now with all the contraceptive methods available, African women still love having kids, okay? Africans give birth to a lot of children and those children use diapers. African women now use diapers, okay? Gone are those days where African women used baby napkins or nappies. Now everyone loves to use diapers because of the obvious reasons we know, okay? They are easily disposable and they are easy to manage. And most importantly, they don't give the stress of washing. So if there's only one one part of the planet that is going to be using most diapers in the future is obviously Africa. The next business I am going to be talking here about is perfume. Yeah, perfume, but not any type of perfume. Refuel perfume business. Yes. If you could invest in the perfume business right now, be it importing in large quantity and retailing them in smaller quantities or importing pocket size perfumes or travel size perfumes, you are going to make lots of money in Africa. That said, I've got a video on this channel that I made and gave you the secret to succeeding in the perfume business. And I gave you lots of tips on how to go about the perfume business and make money for yourself, okay? And you need to watch that video to know the type of perfume I am talking about in that video. I bet you that that video is so, so rich and you are going to feel blessed watching that video. I am going to be linking it somewhere here and you better check it right after this one. So the good thing with the perfume business is that a lot of women love to feel elegant and smell good. You know, smelling good boosts your confidence and thereby enhances productivity. A lot of women and men right now use a lot of perfumes and they are equally perfumes right now for toddlers that women love so much and buy for their kids. And you know, kids are the soft spot of their mothers. When it comes to her child, a woman would go to any extent to please her child or give her child what she thinks is the best. So if you invest in importing or selling in perfume, you are going to make lots of money in Africa. Right now, Africans organize a lot of parties, birthdays, weddings, anniversaries, graduations, and you name it. And a lot of people wear perfumes to those places. And Africa has got a lot of middle class or working class right now that use a lot of perfumes. The next product I would advise you sell or import in Africa is insecticides. Yes, Africa is so infested with mosquitoes and many other insects that are actually a nuisance to the society. And Africans spend a lot of money every month to buy products to get rid of those insects. Also, Africans cultivate a lot right now and they need insecticides or pesticides 
for their farms, especially those who cultivate things like pumpkin and trees, corn, and planting. And as I'm talking to you right now, pesticides and insecticides are so, so expensive in Africa because there aren't a lot of people importing them. If you've been watching us for some time and you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. For on this channel, we are giving you juicy content on lucrative business ideas in Africa and we are holding you by the hand to attain your financial independence as fast as possible. So why not subscribe right now and join the channel? And also make sure to thumbs up this video because I've noticed that a lot of you really enjoy these videos and comment, but you guys often forget to thumbs up the videos for that's the only way you could indicate to youtube that our videos are actually good and so that our videos could be shared more and more the next product i will advise you sell in africa or import is iphone chargers and only iphone chargers yes if you could invest your money in specializing in the import of iphone chargers only you are going to make millions in africa iphone chargers are very very scarce in africa most iPhone users, once they lose their chargers, they don't really get a replacement for it. And for the few people who import those chargers in Africa, they make lots of money because those chargers are very, very expensive. There are actually chargers on the market, but most of them are of low quality or very fake. So if you could import original ones and the few people who buy from you are satisfied, they are going to make the mouth to ear promotion for you and you are going to be making lots of sales. For in Africa, anyone who specializes in any original product Product and doesn't mix makes a lot of money because that person gains a lot of credibility and a lot of trust which is something I always talk about when it comes to doing business in Africa the secret to making a lot of money in Africa is to be solving the problem of dishonesty in any business you are embarking on okay there's a lot of dishonesty when it comes to doing business in Africa. So if you could solve that problem by making sure that anything you sell in Africa, you are being very honest with your clients and giving them the best and only the best, you are going to be making a lot of money. And that leads us to our next point, which is electronics. There's no way you could ever go wrong in Africa with electronics. Africans love a lot of music, okay? Africans consume music a lot. So if you could invest in selling things like home theaters, smart TVs, smartphones, airports, laptops, flash keys and all the like, you are going to be making lots of money. And I always love to talk of specialization, okay? You can choose to import, for example, laptops only, okay? Provide the best brands of laptops and you are going to make a lot of money. If you choose to go for flash keys, provide the best flash keys and you are going to be making lots of money. The next item you would be selling or importing in Africa to make those millions for yourself is actually tiles, yes floor ties this is something that is very lucrative in africa right now for everyone in africa ties their homes okay people love to have ties on their floors in africa and let me give you a secret here don't go and import from dubai as many africans do okay that's a mistake a lot of africans make lots of africans go and buy from dubai forgetting that dubai as well buys from china okay dubai does not produce dubai people are simply middlemen okay and since they know what africans love they get them from china and sell them back to africans because they know they have the credibility africans are looking for okay a lot of africans will boycott their own african peers and go and buy from the middle east thinking that that's where they would get original products or better products but forgetting that those products are actually coming from China. Why are we Africans always quick to conclude that what our peers are selling is not the best and that the best could always come from another person? Why not even think of producing those things by ourselves? That was an aside, by the way, okay? Getting back to the topic of the day, importing ties is a very lucrative business. For most times in Africa, ties are sold more than times three the buying price. So you can imagine the profit margin or the return on investment. And you know for the fact that you buy ties in cartons, but while selling them, you sell them in meta squares. It gives you the margin to make lots of 
profit. For those who've built and have bought ties, you know what I'm talking about. And that goes same with anything that has to do with construction, okay? Africans are going huge on construction. I say that all the time on this channel. So just know that anything that has to do with construction makes a lot of money in Africa, okay? From the roofing sheets to the plumbing pipes to the ties and the iron rod, cement and drilling equipment, basically everything that has to do with construction generates lots of money in Africa. The next product I am going to be advising you to embark on right now in Africa is the selling or import of African beads. Yeah. African ladies now are crazy over African beads. Okay. We have begun to go back to our roots of breading and using those beautiful African beads or pearls on our hair. So if you are intelligent enough right now, you are going to be making lots and lots of money. You know, there's this some sort of African revolution right now, nappy hair, natural hair. The natural hair is gaining grounds right now in Africa and even abroad. A lot of beautiful hairstyles are coming up wherein they need beautiful African breads to decorate them. Myself included, I love and use African beads a lot, okay? A lot of my hairdos actually incorporate African beads. And even in the Western world, the African diaspora breads a lot and even other cultures are beginning to admire the African breads and beads and they equally use them a lot. When you go to Instagram or Pinterest right now, you see a lot of cute little girls and toddlers with very beautiful African hairstyles that often always have beads. And beads have become more of global because other varieties have come up that are very, very colorful. We've got green, red, yellow, blue, pink, and all the other colors you could think of. We even have gold beads, okay? We've got beads with golden color and the ash or gray color that are so, so beautiful. We've also got some beads, some artificial beads that look like cowries that are very African and people are going crazy over it right now on the market. So if you have some money and you want to invest in any business in Africa right now and you want a product that you are sure to make sales, you better go for African beads. The next product I am going to be talking here about is eyelashes. Yes, a lot of African women are crazy over eyelashes right now, okay? You know there's no better investment than anything that has to do with feminine beauty. When it comes to beauty, women could go to any extent to look beautiful, okay? Women don't count when it comes to spending on their beauty. An eyelash is one of those items that makes the feminine face to pop okay you could see an african lady without heavy makeup on but she simply needs to have her eyebrows done and her lashes and a simple gloss and she's good to go so eyelashes are selling real quick and there's this hot cake right now which is what i am going crazy over and a lot of women as well it is the magnetic eyelash okay that's the new trend that is a little bit pricey but worth the price and women are ready to pay whatever it takes to to have the magnetic eyelash because it's very practical to use okay it's time saving and it's less messy compared to the ordinary lash that is applied with the glue with a magnetic eyelash any working class woman or a woman who doesn't have time to spend will just need to take her eyelash and stick it to her eye and once she's done with her outing she is just going to be taking it off in a blink of an eye and women love that facility so so much the next item here is going to be baby clots yeah we women spend a lot when it comes to our babies we don't think twice when it comes to our babies our kids like i always say they are our soft spot okay women would spend whatever it takes to make their kids look beautiful cute chubby adorable and palpable there's no way you could go wrong with baby clots okay especially for the fact that a lot of young mothers or first-time mothers always buy tons of dresses for their babies i remember when i gave birth to my first baby i bought lots of dresses that for the first month of my baby's life she couldn't even wear half of the dresses i bought and that's a mistake a lot of new moms make okay and it's not going to stop any soon so if you can sell baby dresses you're going to make a lot of money okay a woman would rather not dress a lot but make sure her baby is always well dressed and looks cute and adorable all the time that goes the same with toddler dresses or kids dresses okay if you invest in that sector 
you're going to be making a lot and there are also brands like Shein that people love a lot in Africa right now okay Shein is making a lot of sales in Africa and people actually love their dresses for their kids so if you could actually import from them or have a deal with them where you buy and sell for them you are going to be making lots of money the next business on the list is mini hand fans okay when we talk of mini fans you could imagine how profitable it could be in a place like Africa where there's intense sun and heat an African would do anything thing to feel fresh during the day and at night and in crowded places okay because those are the most heated places i don't need to emphasize much on this point because you know why a mini fan could be very important for a lady okay once you are feeling heat you don't need to be fanning yourself left and right and generating more heat back to your body you just need to hold your fan elegantly as ladies love to do right now and you feel comfortable okay who doesn't love comfort who doesn't love less stress mini hand fans sell in africa right now like hot cake so if you've been wondering what to invest your money in think no more for here you have 10 products that you are sure to make profit with them in africa thanks for watching this video and i'll see you on my next one